Hello, welcome to Thor Talk, the show all about Marvel's resident God of Thunder. On this episode of Thor Talk, we're going to be discussing how Thor killed Bill Foster, aka Goliath, who is portrayed by Lawrence Fishburne in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Well, sort of. It's complicated, and at this point it's a fairly well-known story. But let's take a look anyways on Thor Talk. I am Thor the Thunderer, son of Odin. Prince of Asgard, and this world is under my protection! William Barrett Foster was born in a poor area of Los Angeles, but his high intellect saw that he didn't stay there, as he earned a PhD in biochemistry from the California Institute of Technology. Bill Foster was then hired as the lab assistant of Dr. Hank Pym, aka Giant Man. During his time working with Dr. Pym, Foster memorized the formula for the Pym particles and used them to become a superhero. He used his growing powers to become Black Goliath, until later he changed his name to Goliath. He had a bright future ahead of him as a hero, but Everything changed when he found himself on the wrong side in the first superhuman civil war. Goliath chose to side with Captain America against Iron Man and the United States government. During the war, Team Iron Man ambushes Team Cap and fighting ensues. Bill Foster finds himself fighting his old partner, Hank Pym. Watching from afar, Maria Hill sends in codename Lightning. The heroes on Team Cap are electrocuted by Lightning as Thor appears, seemingly for the first time since Ragnarok happened. Everyone is shocked to see Thor, thinking that he was dead, but Thor is not just there to catch up, as he throws his hammer at a few members of Team Cap, knocking them aside. Many of them are now terrified and begin trying to escape, but Thor will not let them. Goliath stands up to Thor, ready to punch him. Get ready for the shortest comeback in history, Thor! I don't think so. Lightning spills from a massive wound as blood trickles behind it. Thor has blown a hole clean through Goliath's chest. Bill Foster falls dead with a gaping hole where his heart should be. Thor then tries to kill the rest of Team Cap, but they are saved by the Invisible Woman, who, up to this point, was on Iron Man's side. Team Cap uses this opportunity to escape, and the war goes on. Reed Richards then utters something to Thor. Shut down code Richard Wagner 1813 to 1883. Thor's eyes go blank. But it is not Thor. It never was. When the Avengers first formed, Iron Man took a strand of Thor's hair. And now he used it to create a cyborg clone of Thor. This clone would later be known as Ragnarok. And it was Ragnarok who killed Bill Foster, not Thor. There was a malfunction. It wasn't supposed to kill him. They would be unable to shrink down Goliath. So he was buried at a massive size in a massive grave. There would be justice for Goliath. Hercules was quite upset to find that the image of his friend Thor had been used for such a horrific deed. And it was Hercules who destroyed Ragnarok at the end of the Civil War. But it did not end there. The real Thor would eventually return and was outraged that Stark created such an abomination. He taught Stark a valuable lesson about playing God. But it did not end there. Goliath's death caused the Invisible Woman, the Human Torch, Black Panther, Storm, and Spider-Man to side with Captain America, after formally being on Iron Man's side or neutral in the conflict. The war would have been lost the moment Ragnarok arrived, had Foster's death not shaken the Invisible Woman to help Team Cap escape. Bill Foster's nephew eventually took on the mantle of Goliath after his uncle's death. Finally, Bill Foster was not forgotten. So that's how Thor's image was used to kill Bill Foster. And that's the closest I was able to get to make a Thor talk episode related to the newly released Ant-Man and the Wasp. While Bill's death helped switch a few heroes over to Captain America's side, his killer switched a few heroes over to Iron Man's side. Many heroes deserted Captain America when they thought that Thor had truly returned and joined Stark, saying that with Thor on Iron Man's side, 
the war was already lost for Captain America. There is more to the story of the mad clone Ragnarok. He would eventually be repaired and face Thor himself. Later on, he would even get the hammer of a Thor from another Earth. But these are stories for another day. Well, that's all for this episode of Thor Talk. If you want to keep up with and support Thor Talk, simply subscribe. You can also follow Thor Talk on Instagram at Thor Talk. Once again, I'd like to formally state that all art and video is owned by its respected companies, and I own none of it. With that said, see you next time on Thor Talk, where. Behold in breathless wonder.